Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're trying some mayonnaise. So if you saw my old video, I compared Hellman's Mayo to Duke's and I much prefer Duke's, so now we are a Duke's household. But I keep hearing about Koopy, QP, QPI, Cutie Pie. I don't know how to pronounce that, but this is the famous Japanese brand of mayonnaise. This is how it came from the store. I got this uh, at Wegmans. And I'm curious to see what it tastes like. So we're going to boil some eggs and make some egg salad. I think that's the easiest way to compare it since it has, you know, a mayonnaise rich flavor. So hopefully you'll tell the difference. But as far as I've heard, I believe this brand of mayo does not use whole eggs. So there's no egg white. It's made of egg yolks. So it should technically be richer and creamier and that kind of thing. And that's why I think a lot of chefs prefer it. But right off the bat, I tell you, it's a weird package to me. Um, the bottle itself... You can tell it's, it's squishy. So let's go ahead and open this. All right, so the bottle itself is very squishy. Like it's super, super thin plastic. I don't know if that's just to, you know, save planet Earth and all that using less plastic, but it's just weird. It feels like it's gonna burst in any second. The top does have one of these uh, foil things. So go ahead and just cut that real quick. Make sure I'm not squeezing the bottle. All right, so we're gonna make some egg salad. I'll be back. We'll make some with Dukes. We'll make some with the QP. And we'll see what comes out better. This is interesting, the front of the bottle. It's it's barely there because of the glare. You might not even be able to see it. But we have that, oh, there we go, that baby character. And I'm assuming in Japanese it says Koopy. But uh, there's no label on the back. It's just the logo. That's interesting. All right, so I hard-boiled some eggs. I have one that's kind of just mushed up with a fork here and one here. Uh, I do have an older video if you're bad at uh, making hard-boiled eggs. I want to say it's a couple years old at this point, but works every time, so check it out. But anyway, we're going to put some Dukes in this one and some Koopy in this one, or Koopy, whatever. Mix it up, obviously make just some simple egg salad, and we will test taste it. And my wife is here. She'll taste it off camera as well to give a second opinion because I'm not always right. You never know. So here's the Dukes. Open this. A little bit of that in there. Now, right off the bat, I can tell you that the Dukes is definitely a whiter color. And that might have to do with the egg whites, as opposed to the yolk only. So here's the Koopy. I can always put more if I need more. But I don't know, if you get, right off the bat, if you can see the color difference on the right is very yellow, very goldish. And again, just because it's all egg yolks. All right, these are all mixed in. I put just a tiny bit more egg on this side just because I think I put more mayo initially. So now they have the same consistency, to be fair. All right, so we'll have the Duke's egg salad. First, I'm gonna try some. I'm gonna actually hand this off to Christina to try afterwards. So that's what it looks like, egg salad, here we go. Okay, that's a good base. That tastes like egg salad. And to be honest, it's already a little richer because it's the Dukes and you know the egg salad I've been eating my whole life. So this is actually really good as it is. I'm very curious to see if this is any better or worse or what. So we'll go ahead and try this now. And again, the big difference in the color, obviously more goldish yellow, more pale white. So here we go. All right. So uh, I do actually like this more. It's weird because like I can taste the mayonnaise in this, but I can't really taste the mayonnaise in that. I think it is more rich and it does kind of just have an egg flavor like the actual mayonnaise is very eggy if that makes sense so in egg salad <laughs> I don't know if that made a huge difference like if like last time when I tried the uh, mayo and I compared it to the Hellman's I did um, BLT's so you know I'd like to in the future maybe compare it that way maybe not on camera but anyway long story short this actually has a very eggy flavor so it almost tastes like there's no mayonnaise in this but it's a richer egg it's very very creamy um, in comparison to this, which is just your run-of-the-mill, like what we're all used to, I, I'm assuming, when you have egg salad. And obviously this is plain egg salad. A lot of people like putting different things in here. I would put pepper in here, uh, maybe a little bit of salt, you know. What do you think? I think I like the Q-Pie more. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's less tangy. It is actually less tangy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there you have it. Um, I, for a household, I think we're still stick with Dukes just because this is obviously more expensive as well, harder to get. But um, specifically with egg salad, yeah, I mean, I'll use this. I'll, this will last us a while, this kind of a bigger bottle. But that's pretty uh, pretty interesting. So let me know uh, if you've had QP or Koopy, whatever, if you've had that before, uh, let me know what you think of it. 
Um, and let me know, you know, how you use it. To use it on a sandwich, it would obviously be a very different application than just egg salad. Because it has such an eggy flavor to me, this is, you know, a random thing I picked, figuring it'd have lots of mayo. Um, but yeah, I mean, it works. It works great for, for egg salad, so that'll be a go-to in the future. Anyway, that's all. You guys uh, feel free to share your comments down below. I know a lot of people out there are going to say homemade mayo is the best, and I've seen that online that people compare this to homemade mayo because a lot of people only use egg yolks as well for different recipes. So in the future, I'll make my own mayonnaise. We've done it before, right? In a food mm -hmm. processor, and it came out great. Yeah. Uh, that was like, what, last year, maybe two years ago, something like that? Yeah. It's just one of those things you just don't think to make it. We, you know, we don't use a lot of mayonnaise, so this jar, believe it or not, will last a very long time. But anyway, homemade usually better. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.